Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about tabs in Cypress. How we can able to handle cy uh, tabs. What is a tab basically means? When you can able to see the browsers, if you click plus symbol and the tab, it will open. If you click another one, you can able to click another tab, right? We can able to see it. This kind of tabs, how we can able to handle. And this is my sample website. If you click this particular one, we can able to navigate into another tab. Okay. In this place, we can able to navigate and we can able to verify. First, we can click this one and then we can navigate into a parent child one. And once we complete it, we can able to back to child window. This is one kind of operation. How we can able to achieve? Means this particular tabs and everything by default handling for remove attribute method using our Cypress. This remove attribute is nothing but it is a, J a jQuery uh, command. Okay, under jQuery, we can able to having this remove attribute one. Whenever you use the remove attribute, it will remove for parent attribute. Then it will go for target, which is a child one. It is present here, right? That child place it will go on. It will invoke it. Mean uh, we can able to say like. Whenever we are not using this attribute, it will every time it will focus on parent window only, which is a child window. It is not there. It will not be presented. If you use the remove attribute, it will focus will go for which is a new tab is presented. Those things we can able to make it. A simple command we can able to go ahead here. Describe this is a small topic. OK. And we can able to use for tabs verifying and function creation okay again we are going to create for test case tabs validation and i'm going to creating a function here then i'm going to use for cy dot visit to visit our website this is our website Okay, then we can need to click it here. First, we need to verify title of our page or URL of the page. Anything we can able to use it. If you want to previous video, we took about for uh, uh, title. Then we can able to take it for here URL. Okay should is the method we can able to take it and we can able to mention for eq and we can able to pass it for our title so not title url <laughs> this is my url validation okay then we can able to click our method like button this is a link right this button and this link we need to click for that we can able to mouse over that particular place and inspect and then right click and here we can able to see this is our link and where it is contains it is presented in the dev place you can class example is presented right inside that it is presented we can able to take example our id dev contains one Okay, it is present under here. Also, ID also we can take, but most of the time, less than year by it is presented there. We can take for class. Okay, and here a class indication for dot symbol, and we can able to specify that. And at dev we are specified, but inside that there are two tags are presented. One is H3 and another one is A. For indication purpose, we can able to use greater than symbol and a whenever you use like this it will focus it will go for which is the tag we specified that particular tag it will go for focus okay once we reached here then we there is a method called invoke invoke this method we can able to what type of invocation we need to do one is sorry remove attribute we need to invoke this is our main target then we can able to use for target is our method 
okay then we need to click our functionality once we click then it will go for next url means the child url this particular location we need to invoke that whether it is invoked a new url or not cy dot url okay now should and i'm going to use for invoke condition only include whether it is included or not and url okay now we are verified once we verify we need to go back to the parent window okay for this we can able to use for geo dot go method which we, we i explained into my previous video we can able to go ahead and see that also now it will go back to the parent window okay whether we are able to do this all the kind of operations or not we'll see cy sorry npx space cypress open now you can able to now our condition is stamps we can highlight this one is loading now it is execution is completed what are the things it is verified see first one is url is expected is verified then it is invoked for remove attribute to remove our focus it is going to child window then our url is satisfied then it is used for go back condition into a world one whether it is coming for world url or not to again we can able to use it for this particular condition whether this particular page is presented or not after seeing we can able to say but condition wise yes we can okay this is a kind of or uh, doing for tabs in cypress okay tabs is basically most of the time they will use for jquery uh, invocation most of the time javascript or jquery any bootstrap types they can able to do it for operations okay we can able to do it our cypress okay that's all about this video i hope you understand this one please like me video please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you